So we're here at the OPC Summit. So uh, what are you talking about here? Well, I'm here, uh, among other things, talking about OLPC in Afghanistan. Unfortunately, uh, after the major deployment of about 5,000 laptops in uh, Ministry of Education schools that happened in Kandahar, Jalalabad, Herat, Kabul, and uh, Bagram, there has not been a great deal of movement. There have not been any additional deployments. When was the original ones? In uh, 2009 and 2010. The last one was Kandahar in 2010. That's this deployment here. Um, and this, uh, and after that, there have not been any. But uh, this uh, picture is a picture of myself and some others at the military base in a city uh, in uh, uh, south of uh, the Ghazni? Yes. So, how many laptops are in Afghanistan? Exos? Now, there are about uh, 5,000 in the country, plus a couple of mine that have been loaned to people who are trying to get additional projects. Couple? Couple machines. Okay. Couple of not a couple thousand. <laughs> no, not a couple of thousand. So, who funded those? Originally, was it the U.S. Army or what was it? No, it was originally a foundation grant that was uh, given to Afghanistan to try to stimulate Afghanistan's Ministry of Education to want to uh, have exos in the schools. And they have bought the project, but they don't have the money to buy the laptops. So they, they talk the talk. They say, we want EXO laptops in all the schools in Afghanistan. But there's no money to fund it. Who doesn't provide the money? Well, US? The, the which, was, which grant was that? From who was that grant? It's from a foundation that will remain nameless. Nameless, OK. Yes, so, a nameless foundation. OK, so, so there's charity going on right now. But there's no official uh, that state. Over. That is over and done. That yeah. will not be repeated. It's not a replicable uh, opportunity. The, the opportunity now is for the government of Afghanistan to step up and say this is something that is high on, enough on our priority list that it should be funded out of the grants that are coming to Afghanistan from the United States, from Japan, from France, from all kinds of other Western countries uh, who are, are supporting the government of Afghanistan, and hopefully until it begins to have have enough infrastructure that it can collect taxes, uh, assess fees, and, and generally have revenue. But uh, how about all that money that's being spent on war? Could some of it be spent on that? Yes, it could, but you know, somebody has to have the will. So that's politics? It's always politics. And uh, how about, uh, how, how efficient is this? So you have pictures of uh, girls with the laptop. Uh, how, is there a measured su success of this project so far? We do not know how successful the project has been in terms of educational output and, and uh, outcome because it is almost impossible to go to the communities where the, the laptops have been deployed. These laptops are in Kandahar. Kandahar is the center of the uh, insurgent uh, uh, activity, and it is not easy to get there and very dangerous to be there. Is it dangerous for the girls to use the laptops, or not really? We have not had any reported uh, instances of being of girls being attacked or or boys being attacked or the school being attacked for using the laptops. Because the basic problem is that many children don't get anything right now. That's true, but that's not these children. These children are in a Ministry of Education school where they are getting not a lot of education, but even without the laptops, they're getting some education. The 
the children in Afghanistan who are most uh, needy and who are closest to my heart are those who are getting zero education, who are growing up illiterate. 50%, close to 50% of the children in Afghanistan, predominantly girls, that is most of the girls, as well as a significant number of boys, are growing up illiterate in the 21st century. Is that hundreds of thousands, millions of children millions even? Of children. Millions of children. Yes, millions of children. So it's urgent. It is urgent for me. I think it's urgent. Uh, it's difficult to convince the uh, government of the United States or the government of Afghanistan that so it's have, more urgent than... Have you been talking with some of these people that could decide stuff like that? Politicians? I send emails to Obama every week. Every week? Okay.